here in Enid, on the east side of town, along Highway 412, is Government Spring Park. And here to tell us a little bit about this park and one of the gardens within the park is George Malachik. Hey, George. Hi, Steve. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Well, George, why is uh, this park called Government Spring Park? Is there a reason? Uh, yes, there is. Uh, during the Chisholm Trail days, uh, when uh, thousands of uh, Longhorn were uh, being uh, herded up to Kansas, uh, there was a natural spring over here, and it became known as Government Springs, and they would camp out with the cattle herds, and they had uh, always fresh water. Okay, good place and, for the and cattle to get a drink. It was, and it's a good place for the uh, trail people to find fresh water okay. and uh, so on. Make camp for the night. They did. All right. Yes. Well, here and within. So, right where we're standing, huh? probably Longhorns have walked through. Well, how about that? Yes. Grazed on the, 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 the area out here in the, in the past. Well, in this little garden within Government Spring Park, it also has a story. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, today, this is known as uh, the Dillingham Memorial Garden. It was originally started in 1920, and it was known as the Sunken Gardens. Okay. And as you can see, it is down here in a low sure, area. Sure. And uh, it continued to be that for years and years. I remember in 1961, I was dating Louise. Uh -huh. And every spring, they have a uh, ceremony out here in this park that they call May Fate. Okay. And Louise was in May Fate, and uh, if you look out here towards the west where you see a gazebo over there, uh -huh. that used to be a big trellis of climbing roses. Okay. And Louise and I are standing in front of that trellis, and uh, we have our picture taken, well, how and about we that? still have that picture. Oh, great, wonderful. In 1973, when we had the big flood in Enid, it totally devastated this because all of this was underwater. Even oh, St. Wow. Mary's flooded the whole basement. Okay, and that's the hospital just yes, to the north. Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, and uh, so it was really in disrepair for several years, and then finally in 1991, 92, in those years. Uh, we began to see a renovation of this. Okay. And uh, the Dillingham family uh, appropriated funds for the maintenance of this garden, and so that is why it's called the Memorial Garden today. Okay, the, the Dillingham Memorial Garden yes. within Government Spring Park yes. here in Enid. Okay, yes. well it is a, a very attractive garden, and right here in the center we have a, a neat statue and uh, can you tell us a little bit about this and uh, some of the, the planting here? Yes, uh, this is called uh, Staking the Claim and it was done by Harold Holden who is a native of Garfield County okay. and he's done uh, many of these uh, oh. throughout Enid and uh, when we took over in 2001 uh, there was some work that needed to be done here and uh, one of these uh, beds is this little island here. And uh, so, you know, I got to thinking, here we have this guy, he's staking this claim in the Cherokee outlet. Sure. A lot of people call this the Cherokee Strip, but right. no, it isn't. Not, it is the quite. Cherokee outlet. Okay. And, uh, and so here he staked his ca uh, claim, and so I thought, what would be better than to plant native grasses that Good grew idea. in the prairies. Yeah. And what, what so have you got in here? I have side oats grandma. Okay. And then there's some blue grandma, as All you right. see right here, Steve. Different seed yes. structure. Yes, and then there. I did put some buffalo grass okay. in there. Yeah, but little, little buffalo grass yeah, in there. Yeah, there is some in there. Okay. And but uh, the, some, the, some cacti? Oh, yes. I put the prickly pear cacti because the fact that they are native. Sure. And, uh, you know, Lewis and Clark, when they made their big expedition, they had problems uh, going through these cacti. <laughs> and so I put these in here just to kind of be a focal point yeah. for a natural prairie. Okay, very attractive area. And uh, if you look at this garden, it's, it's laid out in a, a formal fashion as far as the, uh, the pathways and the beds. But uh, within those planting areas, things are a little bit informal. We got some, some shrubs, we got some perennials, and just a few annuals. And George, who, who takes care of this garden today? Well, Louise and I do. Okay, your wife yes. and, and, and yourself. Uh, we started doing this in 2001. Uh, we have had uh, 
in the past some master gardener volunteers mm -hmm. that would show up once a week and help us and uh, I think we burned them out. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh, but uh, there's also a board that kind of manages this whole park. Sure. And it's called Enid Beautiful Incorporated, the Friends of Government Springs Park. Okay. And so we get board members here to help us. Okay, well, good. And usually we can get that done like twice a year in the spring when we're cleaning up and then mm -hmm. in the fall when we're again cleaning, cleaning up. Cleaning up again in yes. the fall. But fall. during the summer, it's. Uh, basically Louise and I. Wow, I think that's incredible because you have a really large garden at home and then uh, you and Louise are also uh, taking care of this place. So I know. You guys are, you guys you know, are true we're, gardeners. We're fools for punishment. Well, I think that's, it's, it's wonderful that you're committing all your time to doing this. George, I like this uh, combination of plants over here in this part of the, uh, the garden. We've got the uh, Mexican feather grass yes. here in the corner. The, Poes Castle Artemisia, beautiful silver foliage plant. Rebecca. Yeah, the uh, yes. Becky, Becky Shasta Daisy here. My favorite Shasta Daisy because it does so well in the heat. And we've got some uh, apple blossom yarrow right, right back there. And just makes for a great combination and uh, lots of wonderful plantings in this park. Yeah. George, who, who all uses this area? Who, who oh, utilizes this area? It's amazing. Uh, you know, a lot of times there are families that have someone in the hospital. Uh huh and they just need to uh, have a peaceful place to sure. go to get away sure. and they just come in here and they set and uh, you know it's I think kind of a healing garden sure. for some people sure, I imagine. and uh, of course the nurses right here at St. Mary's uh, when they have a break, they come down here, as you Walk can around. see in the background. Uh -huh. There are some there right. just having a soda. And, you, you, uh, you get uh, photographers in here as Oh, well. yes, yes. And uh, we have uh, Caroline Mitchner that has spent a lot of time in here photographing butterflies, the flowers, and hummingbirds. We have hummingbirds in here, especially in the fall when they're migrating. Oh, I, I can and, imagine. Uh, and we have some just gorgeous pictures that oh. she has given us. Well, it is a very colorful park and uh, what, a, what a great resource for uh, the people here needed. It George, is. George, thank you so much for uh, showing us this Well, park. Steve, I appreciate you being here. Thanks. Mm -hmm.